Hello. Welcome to Sled Mart. How can I help you? I want to buy a snowmobile. I want a Polaris Rush if you could not tell by my hideous retro snowmobile suit. Why the heck do you want a Polaris Rush? The motor blows up every 15 minutes, and they look like somebody chiseled the bill on a duck and stuck it under some flashlights with skis underneath. All of my friends have the Polaris Rush. I want it because of its motocross-inspired suspension. It will make me feel more like a man. I will feel like I am able to race in a cross because I will have a motocross-inspired suspension. I will sell you the Polaris Rush 800 if you really want. But the motocross-inspired suspension has a ride comparable to a piece of plywood with a giant motor attached to the front. I know what I want. My buddies have them, and they really like them. I want to take the graphics off of it, slap a bunch of decals that I have no clue what they mean, put an extremely loud coffee can pipe onto it, place a mohawk on my motocross-inspired helmet, and tail drag all the way down the trail. I want to race people. I am the next Levi Lavelli. I've been riding forever. About 37 days, so I am not a rookie to this sport. You are an absolute idiot. The motor on the Polaris Rush 800 is underpowered. You would have a better chance of winning a race by strapping children's sleeves to the bottom of my grandmother's 1987 Honda Civic and pushing it down a hill. The snowmobile has almost 20 horsepower less than a real snowmobile. Just sell me the Polaris Rush 800. I do not care about how slow it is, or when it will break. Any snowmobile I buy will have the snot beaten out of it, and you will have to cover it under warranty. Please sell me a Polaris Rush 800 with a motocross-inspired suspension. I will sell you the toboggan with a bicycle handlebar if you wish. But I am a Polaris dealer. That means I will tell you that you have a warranty and then refuse to cover anything that breaks. Fine. You have shown me the light. I want a ski do 800 e -Tech XRS. I will make me feel more like the born and bred racer. I know I am. That is an erroneous decision. What the hell are you thinking? You will get over 20 miles per gallon all day long and save money. You will pay for it every 15 minutes when your snowmobile breaks down though. I don't care. I like it when my snowmobiles catch on fire. It makes me feel like I am going very fast. Also, I figured out last week all by myself how to open the hood on the ski do 800 e -tech, so I am very mechanically apt, and I will save money as I can repair the snowmobile myself. You are a freaking idiot. You have to replace the shocks and motors as often as the oil in the Skidoo 800 E-Tech. Also, it looks like somebody pulled a yellow hornet out of the sky and made it pack a lip full of skull. I know that is what I like about this snowmobile. It will make me feel wonderful about myself, because the bumblebee is so intimidating. I will scare little children off of their Yamaha fazers, for fear I will sting them. I will be prepared for racing because I have the XRS suspension. I don't think I have ever met someone this ignorant. How old are you, 11? Is your daddy purchasing this snow machine? Will you go on YouTube after you purchase this and troll through millions of videos, commenting them and telling people how fast your snowmobile, which is your father's, is? Have you ever even ridden a snow machine? Yes. I am quite experienced. I have been riding for 37 days, I said that. I am very experienced. I have ridden my uncle's 1972 Arctic Cat L Tiger. It was awesome. I got it to go 38 miles per hour, and all I want is speed. Someday, they will put me in the movie Sealed Necks, where I will have a snowmobile with the graphics off of it. A bunch of decals that I have no clue what they mean, an extremely loud coffee can pipe onto it, and a mohawk on my motocross-inspired helmet. I will look very cool. You have never ridden a snowmobile, have you? No. You have got me. I have not. But my buddies have them. They like their Polaris Indies. I want a snowmobile that has a lot of power for an operator with little brains. You are so stupid. Get the hell out of my store. 
You aren't fit to ride a kitty cat, let alone a Polaris Rush 800 or a Skidoo 800 E-Tech. I have been riding for 27 years on a Yamaha and nothing else. However, I read a lot of magazines, which are not biased in any way, which tell me exactly all of the correct information about snowmobiles. I can critique snowmobiles from my living room. Oh my gosh. This is really awkward. Listen to the way I talk. You can tell neither of us have ridden a snowmobile. Let's agree we never speak of this again, and go put more YouTube comments up about snowmobiles we will never ride or own. I agree. That is a wonderful solution. I'm so glad this will stay between us. It's a good thing nobody else would see this. Could you imagine if somebody saw this, videotaped us and put us on YouTube? How embarrassing would that be? Very embarrassing. I would not like that one bit. I'm glad this video will never be commented on YouTube. Let's be Facebook and YouTube friends, and maybe one day we will be able to ride Yamaha Fazas together, in totally orange snowcross snowmobile gear, so people will be intimidated and think we are racers. I agree. Have a good day, Mr. Armchair Critic. Have a terrible day, Mr. Boy Racer.